Hi, James here. Uh, just another quick Q&A video. Uh, this time it's regarding what to do with your computer when you want to dispose of it. So basically when your computer gets a bit old, it's crap, you don't want it anymore, you want to bin it and get rid of it. Right, here's the email. Right. Hi James, uh, I heard that when you dispose of old computers, formatting the drive is not enough to protect your data from getting into the wrong hands. Uh, also, somebody told me that personal data can be retrieved from an old computer. So my question is this, what do you do with your computer before you dispose of it? And also, is there anything other than the hard drive that needs formatting? Thanks for your time. Right, when you get rid of an old computer, okay, stuff can actually be retrieved off it, despite the fact that you think you formatted it and got everything off the drive. Um, if you formatted it, chances are there's still fragments of stuff all over your drive that can actually be retrieved. Now, a lot of people don't think it's possible to get data off a drive like this that's been formatted. Well, I can tell you now, it is really easy. It's surprisingly and scaringly easy to get data off your drive after it's been formatted. And I mean, you know, you're talking about, you can do it with software that's like so readily available. If you've got an internet connection in Google, you can get the software and retrieve data straight away. So it's quite scary, actually. You can get a lot of data off a hard drive, even if you formatted it. So the best solution is basically to destroy the data on the drive. Now, um, the question about personal data, yes, you can actually get um, personal data, but like to a certain extent, like you could only uh, recover like old account passwords. Like if you've told your computer to remember your passwords, or you've told Firefox or something like that uh, to remember a password, it can be retrieved if you let the hard drive get into the wrong hands. Basically, somebody can use software and get your passwords. So it's best literally just to destroy the hard drive. Now, anything else other than the hard drive to be formatted, no. There's nothing else on your computer that can hold data unless you've left a disk in there, obviously, or something like that. Or unless your computer actually has another hard drive in it where all the stuff is stored. Other than that, there's nothing else in there that stores permanent data. Right, so, first thing you've got to do, if you want to get rid of your computer, I don't recommend you bin it, I recommend you keep hold of it, because it's they're quite handy to keep around. If it's broken, or unrepairable, or whatever, yeah, fine, bin it, it's not worth it, you can get a new one for like 250 quid, what's the point? Uh, but, if it's still in working, perfect working condition, then I would recommend you don't bin it, you recycle it, give it away, at the end of the day, take the hard drive out and give it to somebody, they can... You know, somebody who hasn't got a computer, perhaps. Anyway, so when you want to get rid of your computer, the first thing you need to do, okay, is rip this out, the hard drive. Right now, I'm just going to quickly show you how worryingly easy it is to get data off an old hard drive. Now, this is an old hard drive out of a computer out of my loft, and it's been formatted. But even though it's been thoroughly formatted, I'm going to see what we can recover from this drive. Now, right now, if I go into my computer, Okay, now that's the one that wasn't there before. I've actually got six hard drives in here now. And we can see that's the old drive. And if we double click on that, we can see there's nothing on that drive at all. And if we actually right click on that and go to properties, we can see that there's no blue area, which means there's no use space. It's all free space. The only use space is like 90 bytes or whatever. That's ridiculously nothing. Okay, it's only been searching for 35 seconds and already it's found 45 files, 40, 50, and they're all the types of files that it's found off of that drive. So it's doing a thorough search, and that's, it's searching M, it's searching that many sectors of that many, so uh, it's going to be there for a while. Alright, we'll let that go on anyway, and I'll show you the results when it's finished. Well, now it's going to take probably a couple of hours to do that, so while that's doing that, I'm just going to go through with you a couple of ways in which a hard drive can be fixed inside your computer. Right now, if you've got a really old computer like this one, out of my loft, then you're probably going to need a screwdriver to get the actual hard drive out, because a lot of them didn't have toolless um, drive bays back then. But if you had a computer that was this old, I'd hope you'd probably want it to dump this years ago. Right now, if you take the side off, you're actually looking for the hard drive which is this bit here and the first thing you want to do is just unplug the connectors on the back of it and then you've got a screw there which you need to undo to get this off now sometimes it's actually necessary to take the front 
of the computer off to actually get the hard drive out because it has to slide out that way. So we just take the screw out like that and then the drive slides out the front like that and there we go the drives out. Now some computers like this one has the hard drive mounted the other way so to actually get this out all you have to do is unplug the connections pull this little metal tab and the drive slides out this way and this is called a toolless drive bay which means you don't actually need to undo any screws to get it out right okay I've got the results from the scan it's finished now and I was able to recover pretty much all of a Windows 98 partition um, 32,308 files now obviously I've recovered a lot of files off the hard drive but I've picked out just a few key files which should have been destroyed really because if these get into the wrong hands. Now first of all I found a picture of them so I now know what the guy looks like who owns the computer. And secondly I also found HTML documents of every website that they've ever visited since they've owned this computer. Now believe me there's a lot lastly as well the most worrying thing is I found a, um, a folder of Word documents and within these Word documents there was one entitled solicitor's letter and when I opened it it's actually got their name, address, where they live, their postcode and within the letter are also some personal details as well. Now not only do I now know what they look like I also know where they live, I know what they've been browsing for and buying on the internet and I also know some of their personal details. Now, before you go leaving comments saying about how rude it is me going trailing through somebody's data, I know them personally. I know the person who gave me this computer, and they agreed that I could do this so long as I didn't show any personal data on the camera. What you need to do now is actually take this outside. Well, you're probably going to want to do this outside because uh, you're going to need a hard concrete floor. But it's actually raining outside, so I've had to come in the shed. Um, typical Britain, raining. Now, let me just get one thing really clear, okay? You only do this if you're disposing of your hard drive or you're disposing of your computer with your hard drive still inside it. Don't do this just if you've got a hard drive with data on it. If you can keep hold of the hard drive, I would just keep hold of it. But if you've got data on there that you don't want to get into the wrong hands, best just to do this. Now, when you're trying to destroy the data on your hard drive, doesn't take much. I've seen a lot of videos uh, just around the internet of people saying, oh, you've got to melt it with an oxyacetylene torch or strap dynamite to it and blow it up or something stupid like that. You really don't need to go that far. You know, these things are quite delicate, more than you'd imagine. Now, some hard drives, mainly like IBM, Seagate, uh, Western Digital hard drives, actually use uh, glass platters. So, all you'd really need to do is this. And if you pick the drive up again and it sounds like this, that means that the glass platters inside have actually shattered. And that means that the data is not coming off of that by any means. Now, if you happen to have a drive like this Maxter, which has a metal platter, you're going to have a hard time trying to shatter that by just dropping it because it's actually made of a mixture of really tough metals. So what you need to do is grab yourself a hammer and use your imagination. And when you hear that, the drive's knackered and ready for the bin. Listen to that. That's not a noise you want a hard drive to be making. Now, that's all it pretty much takes to delete the data off a hard drive permanently. And now that's ready for the bin. And when you see videos of people that go just completely over the top and say, oh, you need to you know, smash it up, you need to cut it up into a million pieces, eat the pieces, and then shit them out in a lake. You know, you really don't need to go that mad. Unless you work for the government and you're really that paranoid that the data could incriminate you that much. You really don't need to do that. So, let's just say that I'm on the receiving end of your computer and I'm a bit dodgy and I want to steal your data. So what I do is I plug your hard drive in, switch the computer on, and there you go. All you get is a puff of smoke. Now for anyone that's in doubt about how knackered this hard drive actually is now, let's um, have a look at what a drive should do when you plug it in. Okay, you can see the drive spins up, the read head does some tracking. This is what happens to the drive that we've just wrecked. Absolutely nothing. 
absolutely nothing. It's not even spinning. Nothing. So that hard drive is pretty knackered and I can see there chips actually burnt a little bit there so something shorted out and that's popped. So there you go. Thank you for watching. Nice one.